Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, I'm going to be testing a GeForce GTX 1080 in The Last of Us Part 1. This one is the Asus ROG Strix version of the card. We are running it with the latest NVIDIA drivers and I'm not manually overclocking it. It comes overclocked out of the box. You can see all of its specs right here in Tech Power Ups GPU-Z. It has 8GB of GDDR5X VRAM, 2560 CUDA cores and it released back in 2016 and it's going to put up a show here today. Okay. I hope at least. <laughs> Usually the 1080 doesn't disappoint me. <laughs> so let's move on. Over on the left, we're pairing it with a Ryzen 7 5800X 3D and 32 gigabytes of RAM to avoid CPU bottlenecks and give it all of the RAM it needs. And let's get right into the game now, shall we? Okay, first up, let's go over the settings. I'm starting at 1080p resolution, native. We can also utilize some FSR2 in this game with a GTX 1080. And we're using the high settings preset set with high textures as well which after the game fixing updates especially the vram fixing updates it doesn't run out of vram anymore at 1080p high and here we are guys getting 40s 50s people are shooting at us already this is just where we left it with the rtx 3080 ti by the way and uh well let's let's just try to hit these shots with 40 something fps usually i'm pretty bad at this stuff already when having 60 fps let alone 40s <laughs> we should be able to do this okay first shot didn't kill the guy that's bad Okay, come on, there we go. At least they're missing everything because we're playing on the minimum set. Oh my, the setting, no, no, the, the setting for the uh, difficulty, yes. <laughs> counter, counter, let's go, Joel. Hit him. Okay, there we go. It's playable. It looks great on high settings as well. It looks almost as good as Ultra. So I really recommend high settings instead of Ultra, especially on these older GPUs. Damn it, <laughs> I missed. <laughs> oh my god, seriously, I suck so much. I just woke up, so that could also be an issue. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. Turn on the flashlight. Inside it should go up in FPS, and indeed that's the case. That power usage, though, for an 80 series card, an 80 skew, is just insane. Under 150 watts. <laughs> <laughs> That's the efficiency of Pascal. Still completely unmatched, my friends. We've never seen an 80 series so efficient as this one. I mean, as long as it stays above 30 all of the time, I would consider it a playable experience. Not great, not amazing, but if you value those visuals at 1080p resolution, you can still have a, a playable experience like this. I mean, the GTX 1080 is still capable of providing that experience. It's just not perfect with 60 FPS. Where did you come from? I searched the entire thing. Oh my. Um, but yeah, it's not even dropping into the 30s, you know. So it's definitely decent for a single player title. Oh, we're back playing with Ellie. And now with the fog effects, it's getting higher FPS. No more 40s. Well, it's getting 50s still, but... That is better than I expected, with some fog effects, you know. Uh, those textures, are they loaded? Eh, they look kind of crap, honestly. <laughs> yeah, in some areas you can see that it can achieve 60 FPS, but then it drops down. Yeah, okay, it's not gonna get 60, alright, most of the time at least. But it's close enough to be enjoyable. Uh, what about FSR2, though? Can this save the GTX 1080 and put us above 60 most of the time? That would be perfect, right? Oh my god. All right, no, I saw 76 there for a second. Oh my god, wait, no, it's getting 80. <laughs> okay, then. Um, all right, that feels a lot smoother. Although FSR here in this game is not really the best implementation, so... Oh boy, maybe it's still applying FSR, by the way. Let's just restart that counting system. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, it's it doesn't really look that great. It's a little bit pixelated, although they probably improved it a little bit, honestly, compared to what it was before. But you can still see that halo effect around the character, for example. Look at uh, Ellie's hair right there. It's really noisy and pixelated, right? Yeah, that's it, boys. That's it. No, 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 no. I'm not here. I'm not here. <laughs> Let's go, Ellie. Good job. Okay, let's move away now. 70s? We were getting 60s previously here, remember? 
80 stem. All right, this is really nice. So I guess if you are okay with the little bit of noise that happens with FSR enabled in this game, you can actually have a really smooth experience while making the game look amazing on high settings still. All right, sneaky beaky. Everything is gonna be okay. Hey, hello there. Hello. What if I go out through the window? No, there's a guy, there's a guy. Run, Ellie, run. Oh boy. Oh, where to? Where to? Where to? Here? No, of course not. Of course not. Why do I keep making bad choices? Damn it. Damn it. Let's go, Ellie. It's fine. It's okay. Damn it. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is scarier than the freaking zombies in this game, my friends. Holy crap. All right, everything's going to be okay. All right, can I just break a window and go? Damn it. Freaking bulletproof glass in a in a restaurant. What the hell is this? Either that or the brick was made of like poop. <laughs> Dry poop. <laughs> also, um I completely forgot that we were using FSR actually looking decent they, they probably did update it because i remember it looking really bad in the previous version of the game what the god did you're still here are you kidding me hello there mother effort let's go boy ellie in the house and she didn't kill the bastards god damn it <laughs> okay uh, no 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 buddy Buddy, don't do this. Don't do this to me. You don't want to do this. God damn it. How did we miss that, Ellie? What the hell? Okay. Okay. Isn't, isn't there a knife or something in, in this entire freaking kitchen? You know what I'm noticing while I'm just uh, 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 around here? Just playing the game, trying to kill this guy. That I am not looking at the FPS. The, the, the game is buttery smooth. It's super playable on the GTX 1080. Uh, that's it. very impressive. That's super impressive. <laughs> and I mean, maybe this area isn't really that intensive, but it's still great performance for something this old. There we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did we, did we manage to do it? Maybe. Maybe you, you hit it in the right place, my friend Ellie. Okay, good job. Good job. Uh, I'm gonna stop it there, because, you know, cuts in time, I guess. No, no, not really. Joel time. <laughs> <laughs> outside oh my god reaching 100 fps here once again even in one of the most intensive games out there the 1080 manages to impress without fsr gets 60s so this isn't really as intensive once again guys still dropping into the 50s though uh, it would probably drop into the 50s with the uh, fsr enabled in some more intensive scenarios especially like the one where we started the video at but it would only drop into like the, the low 50s probably, so it's very playable. I'm gonna go up to 1440p now. All right, gotta resize the thing over here. And there we go, this is it. 2560 by 1440 at native resolution, no FSR still. No problems in terms of VRAM. It's uh, getting 30s, 30s not really that great. Oh my. Uh, especially when it comes to aiming and stuff, it, it gets rough. All right. Oh, come on, that was a headshot there. Maybe it was the hand. Oh, damn. Oh, boy. No, no, no. Ouch, ouch, ouch. God, I wish I had bought the, the Kevlar, you know? If I had bought the Kevlar in this game, like in CSGO, <laughs> we wouldn't have this uh, aim bounce whenever they hit us. Damn, bastard. Shotgun. How the hell did that actually hit? <laughs> Alright, we made it, we made it. Can I grab the weapon? No, of course not, of course not. It's still possible to play like this, especially if you lock it to 30 FPS. If you want that last-gen console experience with better graphics, of course, you can just play at 1440p, lock it to 30. Maybe add a little bit of motion blur if it isn't too obnoxious, uh, just to disguise that low frame rate a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna enable FSR2 on quality now, which at 1440p will look much better than it did at 1080, and now it renders the game at the 960p resolution. Let's kill them bastards. All right, oh, why, why did he stop? Uh, this was an interesting scene right now, come on. 
Oh, it's just swapped to Ellie, of course. Ellie, wake up. There is a fire here. I know it feels very cozy. But that, it, it's because of the fire. Did the other guy... I, I can hear the other guy. He's probably awake as well. For some reason, they woke up at the same time. Ah, oh, boy, that's bad luck. Come on, Ellie. Also, the power usage went up slightly here at 1440p, but still, like, amazing. What the hell? I stab you three times! I stab... You freaking bastards, man! <laughs> we can do this. Grab the machete. I'm so sorry. These are probably spoilers, but it's, it's an interesting part of the story, and uh, I want to play it through. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, Ellie, let's go. We can do this, we can do this. We yeah, boy, how did he not see that coming? Are you kidding? Oh my god, okay, okay, Ellie, that's enough. Oh, it's back in springtime, that's beautiful. Okay, we're gonna see some beautiful trees and greenery and vegetation, just how I like it. Can I skip the cinematic? No, just staring at a wall with a deer. Well, it's good to take a look at the textures, though. Still looking great. No. It's been a while since we haven't seen these awesome-looking graphics, and now I see that um, weird over-sharpening noisy effect again from FSR, so d they probably didn't really update the version of FSR. It's just that whenever you are near grass and near these fences, for example, the noise is exaggerated. Okay, so that's it. Um, doesn't look as good in this area as it did in um, the snowy area in terms of FSR, but it's still definitely very playable, though. Let's turn it off. Set it to default, which is native 1440. Yeah, it's below 30 FPS. It does look way better, though, as you can see. Still has a slight bit of halo effect around, like, the, the hair. Jules hair there but it's very minor right now now we already know that the game is playable here at this resolution so let's bump it up to 4k why not right we are running out of vram at 4k so it's definitely gonna be a terrible experience and of course the gtx 1080 doesn't have the power anymore to run 4k especially in the recent titles but when it came out it was very capable at 4k resolution still so it's interesting to see 4K as well here in your titles. Get 17, 16 FPS. At this point, you can walk around, you know, you can, like, take screenshots. That's it. It's, it's very good for screenshots at this point, and it's just stunning to look at. If you want to take a look at the true graphical <laughs> fidelity of The Last of Us Part 1, just set it to 4K, high settings. Well, you could do ultra, you know, but it's, it's very minor, the difference anyways. And just look at this. It is amazing. Now, what about FSR on, like, uh, performance? Will it give us 30 FPS? Probably not. Oh, <laughs> it actually does. And while standing still, things look really good. Better than at 1440p. But the problem is when you start moving around, yeah, it's super, super noisy because of performance FSR. It's really weird, you know, how, how, how the noise works. Look at uh, Joel's face there with the beard. Super pixelated and it's not so much pixelated, but super noisy. All right, very noisy image. It's getting 30 plus. There will be some areas for sure where it will dip into the 20s, but I was expecting worse. I thought it would get like 28 or so. Over here, it hasn't dropped from 30 yet. I'm going to go back to 1080p in this area because it seems to be slightly more intensive than the other one, and I want to take a look at it. 1080p native res. Oh, and we need to restart the game because now the RAM is maxed out. It's over the limit, actually, so we need to reset that. All right, here we go. Back into it. RAM usage is normal. VRAM usage is normal as well. Getting 30, 40. Well, thir 39, 40, not 30, 40. Yep, it is still very Good, good guys. Native 1080p, well, board. it's not too different from the first area where we started the game at, at 1080p high as well, right? Getting slightly lower FPS than there. Maybe we got like 50 more often, but not bad. Not bad at all. Let's see with FSR though. And we gained about like 10 frames per second, 10 to 15. 
Again, that noise is way more noticeable now that we have a lot of vegetation around us. But it is getting closer to 60. Of course, it's not good for a 60 FPS experience all of the time, but boy, can it play The Last of Us. Oh boy, I am impressed. I am going to go ahead and um, try this out on the high textures and medium settings. All right. Ah, oh, you're tired already, Ellie. Let's go. Let's go. Up we go. What? We need to talk to Ellie? Seriously? Okay, maybe we gotta go through here. I doubt it, though. I, I, I'm a little bit stuck at the moment, guys. <laughs> Once again, I don't know what to do. It's not getting 60s, though. So it's ultimately gonna be a similar experience to what we saw at 1080p with FSR and high settings. And if we enable FSR 2 on quality, if you don't mind the noise... Oh my god, it jumps up like crazy! 70s and 80s at times! That's uh, pretty much the same thing as we've seen previously when we were playing Ellie and I played at high settings 1080p during the thunderstorm. That snowstorm. Snow... Thunder, there were no thunder. <laughs> Can I just jump here, guys? Like, I would like to just jump here. That would be great. Oh, boy. Ooh, a little bit of a stutter there. That was probably a one-off or loading something. Oh, and that something is... I am not gonna... I'm not gonna spoil it to you, okay? But damn it, it's dropping! It's dropping a lot in this area! Okay, so you're looking at me now. By the way, thanks to Autofool for sending the chair over. <laughs> but in this cutscene, we're seeing, like, no major depth of field effects or something, but a close-up of what is in front of us, and it's getting 37, 38 frames per second. So it can definitely drop into the 30s, guys. It's not gonna be super buttery smooth, so I suggest you to lock it to 30 FPS and uh, play like that. But well, that's been it for this video, I guess. We've seen a lot of different scenarios at a lot of different resolutions with and without FSR, medium settings with high textures, high settings preset as well. There's not too much difference between the two, so just go ahead and choose like high with uh, FSR 2 and lock it to 30 at 1440p and be done with it, in, in my opinion. But it still looks really good like this though, so no problems if you want to play on medium. So yeah, just enjoy the game. It's definitely very playable either way. Even at 1440p, it doesn't stutter, so that's amazing. Whatever you do, don't play at 4K, of course. But that goes without saying. <laughs> the 1080s 4K days are long gone. Thanks very much for watching this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll catch you in the next one very soon. And we'll continue this little playthrough. Love you all. Bye-bye.